Hey, my YouTube friends. Hi, thanks for coming back. Ken on a mission here I'm in the Philippines. Just winding down my three week vacation. And currently, I'm in the uh, city of Angeles. And I'm staying. This video is going to be on uh, where I'm staying. This place is called Candy Palace with a K K A N D I Palace. Um, it's not far from the bus station, not far from SM Mall, not far from the main boulevard and you know like an eight to ten minute walk to walking street so it's pretty centralized and i'm sitting in this one of these uh we would rent one of these at a wedding maybe one of these wedding throne chairs it's got a little fuzz you can see here um so candy palace i uh, i went online uh and i used um airbnb so the building is like a high-rise building and it's owned by different owners. Um, so my apartment is a one bedroom. It's like a studio with a bath and a balcony. And it's got all the amenities you could want. It got a safe, you have a kitchenette, a small kitchenette, cabinets, got glassware, forks and knives, spoons. You got air con, you have um, a TV, like a 40 inch cable and that even Netflix I watch Netflix on someone else's account last night <laughs> so um, a lot of plugins big si king size bed and I have a lot of neon um, so it's neon like this you can see up the hook up above I got all these and you can look around I'm gonna I'm I'm pan around here this is the lobby and there's a pool table back there you can see that pool table and they got the uh, a football game on because it's Friday Friday the 8th of September. All right, so um, it's a nice place. Uh, it's secure, uh, no contact. So I let them know like within 20 minutes of my arrival and I'm on my way and the owner's assistant left the door open for me. So I went out, rode the elevators. There's security guard and bellman in front and they size you up, make sure you're there, ask you a few questions. They got a front desk. You let them know what apartment you're going to. I got a safe elevator. One of the nicest things why I, I picked this place is they have a rooftop pool. Getting a pool in your hotel in the Philippines without an ocean, is, it's pretty hard to find. And, and for uh, $50 or less, it's, it's, it's a bargain. It's a main. And they have three other properties within like a 10 minute walk. They have Candy Towers with a K and uh, another Candy Towers part two. And I think they have some other candy um, properties. Same thing, mixed hotel slash condo owners that rent Airbnb. So I have access to all those rooftops. They all have rooftop bars and they all have nice scenery. It's close by, $50 pool. And I even, I even, uh, even though the, the, the lounge for eating is downstairs, if I go on the rooftop, because they have a bar up there, I can order my food. They call up and they have it delivered right to me upstairs by the pool. They have a billiard table upstairs, and they have one down in the lobby to shoot pool, free of course. And the ambiance, so like, you know, who would you think would um, decorate this place? So I was just tossed between Hugh Hefner, maybe Tony Montana, and maybe Siegfried, Siegfried and Roy, those tiger guys from Vegas. You know, they have all these, um, these chairs. They got this chair here next to me. You can see that. They got them back there. They have a lot of leather chairs. Imagine that you went to Rooms to Go in Florida and said, hey, you know, give me some, some crazy reds, leather, uh, and, and, and they have an immense amount of um, statues. They even have Oscar statues up at the front doors. Double, double Oscar statues, like 10 feet tall, gold. Um, a lot of sequins, vases. They have a piano right here next to me. And they got the front desk, and they're very helpful. And they have a lot of the photographs are of um, sexy women, like this one. You know, there's a lot of um, sexy, sexy looking poses. Nothing too obscene, you know, just um, pretty women in different poses. The lighting is really nice. In, in my room, I have ambient lighting. I have a fan with neon lighting. Uh, it's really a pretty cool place. Uh, Definitely, if you a photographer's eye, if you have a if you like photography, and you come to the Philippines with DSLR, you can walk around this place like a like a like a museum, take all these beautiful pictures. Especially if you had like a 
a beautiful Filipina model and you wanted to come here and take pictures of her, say you were an amateur photographer or semi-professional, and you hired a pretty Filipina to come here and spend a few hours and you wanted to build up your portfolio for the United States, you could bring a model here and, or two and pay them probably, you know, thousand pesos each for two hours and take some great photos of them. Anyway, so Candy Palace, definitely a home run, very nice place, affordable, close to the mall, close to Walking Street, close to sports bars. They have a 7-Eleven, which is uh, about a two minute walk, you know, towards where you're going, 24 hours. And they have um, cleaning. There's three laundry mats, like right here, I just dropped my laundry off within one and a half minutes walk there was a lady a young filipina there and she did my laundry and it came in at like five pounds and it was like three dollars it would be ready in like five hours so guys don't pack heavy come here with about eight days worth of clothes this is my third time cleaning i cleaned in cebu i cleaned in dumaguete and i cleaned up in angeles uh, same thing, about four pounds, five pounds of clothes, never more than three dollars. And I give them a dollar, a dollar tip. And I've even in uh, Dumaguete, I gave the security guard my receipt. And I say, hey, you mind going three blocks over there and get it? I went over there, I was early and they didn't have it. I don't want to go back over there. You throw them, <coughs> excuse me, still fighting a cough. You throw them a buck, buck and a half, or, you know, 70 pesos. And he runs over there and picks it up and drops it at you, you know. Uh, and, and a few times during in my stays at places, all the security guys, when I go out to 7-Eleven, I come back, I give them all sodas or Sprites, or I give them some pastries, and they really appreciate that, you know, because they're really cool people. Filipino, Filipino people are awesome. They're very customer oriented. They're always willing to please. They're very polite. Uh, thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? How was your stay? They're always accommodating. You have any problem? It's, it's, we guys are the problem, I think. We we bring our uh, New York attitudes, our uh, American uh, spoiledness with us. Uh, so when you come, check that at the door. When you get in the Philippines, it's new, fresh, start. Uh, the people are awesome. I can't say enough about them. But this video is about Candy Palace. Guys, consider it. It's uh, Airbnb. Um, you can look on, they'll probably, when you put Candy Palace, there'll probably be about 10 apartments. So just look for price. They vary in price. Try to get a deal. So one is not so much more than the other. They, they're all the, <coughs> they all seem to be following the same themes. So do your best and do the best you can for the dollar you guys have because we're all working hard for it. So with that all information, um, I hope everything that I'm putting out there for you guys makes your trip easier, it encourages you, it gives you knowledge and power so that you can come out here by yourself and you will, you, you will know. So who wants to read a book about travel here when you can, you can have a video like this? And um, please look at some other videos. I have a video about um, the currency and the dollar, what to bring, how much, ATMs. I have videos about my uh, hotel stays and videos about different cities and what they um, offer you. So with all that in mind, have a great day. God bless. Like, subscribe, share, and tap that bell. Peace out, guys.